Hi, this is Mary Jane. The question this week for our circulation staff is, what is the funniest, most humorous book you've read? Hi, I'm Mary from the Circulation Desk. One of the books that I found really funny was Dress Your Family in Corduroy and Denim by David Sedaris. I like all of his books, but I remember listening to this one on audio in the car and just laughing out loud. So I really recommend that you listen to it so you can hear it in the author's voice. It's great. Bye. From the Circulation Desk. The funniest book I've ever read probably would be Tina Fey's memoir, Bossy Pants. Um, it was released in 2011. Tina Fey's a local girl, grew up in Upper Darby. Uh, she went on to star in Saturday Night Live and 30 Rock. She's a producer, a writer, a comedian, an actress. Um, it's a great memoir. It's got a lot of funny points and it just talks about her life growing up and also how she kind of broke into um, show business as well as being a comedian. So I think you'll enjoy it. Hi, my name is Chris. And the funniest book I ever read, actually two of the funniest books I've ever read, are Angela's Ashes by Frank McCourt, especially the part where he throws God up in the backyard after his Holy Communion, and Bill Bryson's A Walk in the Woods. This book, A Walk in the Woods, my husband read and laughed out loud, and I was so intrigued that I had to read it, even though by the cover, I would have never picked this up. Thanks, have a great day. Hi, it's Dorothy. When thinking about this question, I realized I don't read many funny books, but ones that I've loved in the past are Confessions of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. This is actually a series of seven or eight books right now, but I like the first one the best. It tells the story of Becky Bloomwood, who in London gets into all kinds of trouble because she loves to shop just too much. Kinsella is great at quirky characters and funny situations, and it's a great palate cleanser if you just need something light and funny. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Mary Jane. I love the Jeeves and Worcester series by P.G. Woodhouse. Bertie Worcester is a young man about town, amiable but clueless, with a circle of equally clueless young friends. He frequently gets himself into bizarre predicaments from which he must be extricated by his imperturbable uh, but very proper butler, Jeeves. Uh, the Plots of these books are very amusing, but I particularly love the writing. One of my favorite phrases is when Bertie describes one of his friends as looking like a sheep with a secret sorrow. Hi, I'm Paul from Circulation, and I'd like to tell you about a few books that have really given me some chuckles over the years. One is Tolkien's novella, Farmer Giles of Ham, which is a medieval tale of a farmer, a king, a giant, and a dragon. Uh, middle years group would enjoy that. At school, I love to read to my young kids, Betty Bunny Loves Chocolate Cake by Mike Kaplan. And if you really want to entertain kids with a book, you have to read The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak, but you have to read it with great gusto. And if you're an adult and just want to read an adult book, for sheer ridiculousness, read Lunatics by Dave Barry and Frank Zweibel. That's my suggestion. Hi everyone. Glad to be sharing some of my favorite funny books with you. Can't pick just one, so here are a few of my favorites. A Man Called Ove. Trevor Noah, Born a Crime. Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. And really anything by Bill Bryson. He's a great humorist, um, nonfiction writer. And this is a walk in the woods, but he's got a lot of great ones. So many great funny books out there and something that we could probably all use a little bit of right now is some humor in our lives. So enjoy, hope you can find them.